Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is the AI behavior tree task run behavior. So I've created this quick little example here. Basically, we have our normal task behavior tree here, where I'm going to use the run behavior node and then wait five seconds. Now the run behavior node is pretty simple. It simply takes in, as its only option, another behavior tree. And the goal of it is to allow you to have different behavior trees that do different things and then basically collapse them down into a run behavior node for to make it look better, to make it more compact, to make it easier to manage. It, you can think of it as a function or a macro by using the run behavior node. So in our example here, if you notice, it actually shows us a preview of the behavior tree I'll be using. And if we open it up, it's pretty simple. All I'm doing is running a sequence, waiting five seconds, playing a sound, and then running my custom task, which just prints out to our screen. Now, if we watch this run, what we're going to see is the behavior tree task is running. It waits five seconds. It gave us our notice on the top, and then it goes ahead and waits another five seconds. Now, if we watch this, what we're seeing here, let's start over from the beginning, is behavior tree run runs to behavior tree two. So that's waiting, playing, printing, running back to the top, which then finishes successfully in our second wait node fires. So that is something to keep in mind. This as an actual task node has a success or failure based on the behavior tree inside of it. So if the behavior tree is successful, then of course it's gonna return a success and then do whatever appropriately, either go back up the chain or in the sequence, move to the next part of the sequence. If it fails, it will be treated just like any other task that fails, and it will restart the sequence if you're using a sequence node, or it'll roll over to the next node in a task node, a selector composite node. So let me show you that. Let me remove the sound cue. Without a sound cue, play sound will fail, and this is going to travel back up, make the actual behavior tree fail. When the behavior tree fails, then the entire thing counts as a failure and you're never going to see our second wait. So it's going to work as expected. So we run our behavior tree and wait five seconds. Play sound fails and you'll notice it will abort and then try again. If we actually watch in here, you'll notice these two never run because this part here will fail when we get to play sound and the top part aborts. So that's something to keep in mind. The run behavior is pretty simple. It's intended to allow us to compartmentalize and organize our code better and make our behavior trees maybe a little more modular. Maybe you have one behavior tree specific for finding and setting a valid target and you can continue on. Now one thing to keep in mind is behavior trees can share blackboards. So in this case, for example, my behavior tree for my task is using the task behavior Blackboard. This behavior tree is using the task blackboard as well. So you can share the values between the two behavior trees in case you have them doing something like setting player targets or updating other variables. So that is something to keep in mind. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.